I've always loved zigzagging around the globe and doing what you can and and going to crazy places and meeting people and making friends and you know you might not see them for a decade or so but they always show back up rock and roll or heavy metal or whatever you want to call it's a weird thing because youth seems to be consistent everywhere I mean, I've never had issues. Any, I've been to, at this point, 47 countries. You know, it's always been super cool. And I think the music is the thing, the, the factor that holds all that together. And if the politicians would listen to the kids in terms of the rock and roll thing, I think the world would be a very simple place. You got a little bit of waiting, a little bit of drinking, and then, you know, you get to do your thing for an hour and a half in the evening. It makes it all better, you know. No, it's, it's tricky. Every day is completely different. I just try and have a good time and soak up the sights and play rock and roll. You know? I think whenever we talked amongst each other about doing this, we wanted to do it for real, but it was just amongst ourselves. We were kind of testing the waters, seeing how we all gelled together and all that stuff. And so far, the waters are testing pretty well. So. <laughs> It's hard to say because it's been so long. It's a weird thing to be in that world, but it, it's like going in a time warp. You know, it's like we didn't miss a beat, but it's been almost a decade. You don't have time to waste energy on negative things or whatnot, you know, and there's not really many negative things at all. It was just, we just kind of all went separate ways. But the thing that got it going was the, the, the fans and people wanting us to play these damn songs. So I give kudos to the fans for making us get off our asses and do this. To me, it feels awesome to be able to play these songs again that we haven't been playing. And it's a challenge to jump back in and, and make it as real as it was and, and keep maintain that, that vibe. But the songs have stood the test of time and playing them is just such a pleasure to go, you know, we had to learn like 22 songs. I'm sure all of us would agree we're not really the kind of guys that go backwards, but it's been fun to do and it's kind of enlightened me in a bunch of different ways of, you know, guitar playing, singing and whatnot. But, so. It still just boils down to plugging in and playing, keeping your head in the right spot where you're not losing focus and, and dropping the hammer as good as you can. I got a friend of mine, Rob, who works for Down. He's doing front of house and tour managing. And his friend John, who's a fantastic drummer from Manchester, <laughs> doing drums and guitars. Yeah. In addition, we got our boy R2. He's a he's an Arkansas boy. Been around the world a time or two. He does a lot of work with Wino and uh, things like that. And he works with Corrosion, so he's he's over here joining us, keeping the ball rolling. We had to make sure we had the right people with us to, to make this thing work because it's a one-shot deal, you know. So we didn't want to half-ass it. And to be honest with you, I can't complain. I wasn't sure quite what to expect, but people are showing up, it's fucking packed, and I think it's a good catalyst for us to go from here if we want to, to see, you know, that if we can still do it. It's not a novelty act, we're not, you know, going totally backwards, but the songs still stand this day as good as they did then, if not better. I, mean, I think we're actually playing better than we did back then. I mean, they've only had 20 years to figure the words out, so they're singing louder than they did back in the day. You know, the, the thing to me is, is like, I haven't been everywhere in the, in the world, but uh, the places I've been, I mean, I enjoy it every time I go. I would say the first few times that like we really ventured out, like really beyond our, our realm, you know, beyond America and so forth, I was like freaked. Little, little boy from North Carolina and traveling the world and stuff. But I'm still enjoying it as much as I did then. It's just, uh, I kind of know more what to expect now. It's not as much of a surprise. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of the deal. That's why we plugged in and learned Ramon's song when we were kids to just maybe we could get out of there and do it one day. But you stick to your guns and you play and then people understand it and they respect you or they come to hang out with you and enjoy what you're doing. Not that we're on some pedestal, but you're just playing music and it's just a connection that it's kind of hard to explain, but it, it seems to work really well. And when it happens correctly and it's real, you know, that makes it everything worthwhile. <laughs>